measuring annual impact. So last thing we want to cover is this idea of long-term monitoring. Think about this. If you could stand on one piece of your ranch and look down at the plants there and see what those plants look like five years ago, 10 years ago, 50 years ago, wouldn't that be neat? Wouldn't it be nice to say, look at what I've done to improve the condition of my rangeland? Or maybe it would raise some red flags for you and say, whoa, we're doing something wrong. This land's moving in a direction that we don't like to see it. So that's really the point of this whole long-term monitoring story. And uh, the, the method that I want to pitch to you is this idea of doing a permanent photo point transect. And this is a very simple method to do long-term monitoring. And from my perspective, it's very effective. So here's a ranch that we're out on northwest of Wheatland. And uh, we ran out a 100-foot tape measure and pounded in some stakes in the ground. We used PVC stakes with a cap on them and then ran out this 100-foot tape and pounded another stake at that end. On this piece of paper, which I realize you can't read, is written on there the name of the site, the date the pictures were taken, and, uh, and, and that's identified in that picture. So if we were zooming in on this digital picture here, we could read that. And then along this tape, so we take five pictures of this. So here's the one picture looking down the transect, and uh, this will show us if we had a forested site, maybe we could see where the trees were, uh, what kind of sagebrush cover we had, those kind of things. It gives you an idea of, of what it looks like looking across the land. And then we take some pictures looking down at the land. And this is a three foot by three foot square. You don't have to have carpenter rules to do this. You can use a PVC cutout, but some type of delineation so you know what size of area you're looking at. And then I do this along the tape measure at, at standard points. I like to use 10 foot, 50 foot, and 90 foot along that 100 foot tape. So this is the 10 foot mark right here and this is the 13 foot mark right here. And that uh, 3 by 3 square is just laid out there. That same piece of paper goes right over here identifying the name of the site, the date, and then you take a picture looking down. And uh, these are really the most valuable pictures in about 5 years and 10 years time because you get to see the plant community that's present in that square. And then in another few years we'll get a look at that again. Maybe in, in five years, there's more cheatgrass in here. Maybe some of this prickly pear has moved in here. So if that were the case, then we're moving in the wrong direction and we need to change what we're doing. Uh, maybe just the opposite's happened. Maybe our cool season grasses are really responding well and we're getting more cool season grasses, less bare ground, uh, and those kind of things. So we take these pictures at three points along the transect. This is the one from 50 to 53. And then we go on to the last one from 90 to 93. So we've got three samples along that transect of what the land looks like. And then we turn around at the end and we take one looking back down the transect the other way. So that's really the, the short idea of uh, how to do a cover by life form transect using just photos. The details of how to do these and a whole bunch of other methods are available in the Wyoming Rangeland Monitoring Guide. And uh, Mike's one of the authors on that. Mike, you have anything to add on that? Well, I just wanted to point out that uh, there's methods that we can use to actually convert these pictures to numerical data on individual plant species cover or category cover if we need to do that. And on perhaps on a federal permit, you might be thinking about doing that. On a, your private ground, it might be sufficient that you just use the photographs to try to make decisions with. All right. So. Thanks. Okay, so that really it, it brings to home what we wanted to talk about. I think if you put all these things together, you'll find that they're a very powerful set of tools to make grazing decisions on your ranch. So thinking about those basic great rules of grazing. When are you grazing those plants? During what time of year? What kind of impact are you having on them? Are you grazing pastures at the same time every year uh, during critical growth windows? Uh, being able to estimate the production of your ranch because that becomes a critical component when you're starting to do this this plan and then measuring the annual impact of that and again we talked about the grazing response index as a tool to do that bringing those things together and sitting down as a ranch management team sometime before the grazing season and putting together a plan is really critical in terms of being able to to react to, to what's going on in terms of the weather uh, having a plan uh, it takes into account all these different things and where you want to move your land 
is, a, is really the, the take home message from this presentation and a powerful tool to, to drive those rangeland systems. And then some type of long term monitoring in place uh, just as a check to say, hey, how are we doing? Are we moving in the right direction? And uh, these can be used not only just as a check for yourself, but maybe you've got a group challenging you're managing and, and they want to say, uh, oh, we've got this endangered species that, uh, is, that we need to change the way you're doing things. Well, if you've got this data, then you've got something to fall back on saying, well, hey, here's proof as to what my management is doing to this land. So uh, not only benefits for you uh, in terms of your management, but could be some benefits and other things as well. So, so that's kind of what we wanted to cover today. Mike, you have any final comments? Um, no, nothing much to add. So. All right. Well, thank you, Mike, for joining us. And again, I'd like to point everybody to this website as a tool uh, where some of this information is archived and, uh, and the supporting materials as well. So I uh, hope to see everybody turn up at the sustainable ranching workshops that are going to be coming up this fall. And uh, if you'd like any, a more in-depth one, think about attending the High Plains Ranch Practicum School. Uh, we have a lot of fun, a lot of camaraderie as a class, and uh, j just have a great time. So uh, thanks for, for watching, and uh, hope this was useful to you.